Hello and welcome to the weekly weather briefing. My name is Dan Gregoria, meteorologist at the National Weather Service in San Diego. It's November 14th. So what can we expect for the week ahead? Well, all eyes are on Santa Ana winds, which will begin on Tuesday, but really strengthen Tuesday night in the Wednesday. Winds will peak Wednesday morning, and this will be a strong Santa Ana wind event. More on that in the next slide. Temps will be below average, but we will see a warm up, especially west of the mountains, Wednesday and Thursday. For uh, areas near the coast actually going slightly above normal, and then we'll cool again late in the week. And then another round of Santa Ana winds Friday night through the weekend, but that one looks weaker. So here's a look at the peak wind gusts we're forecasting. Again, the Santa Ana winds, those northeast winds will increase Tuesday night and peak Wednesday morning before gradually weakening throughout the day Wednesday and the Wednesday evening. And it's these typical corridors below the Cajon Pass near to near the Santa Ana Mountains just downwind, uh, west side of the San Gorgonio Pass, and the foothills of the Riverside and San Diego County Mountains, where peak wind gusts will hit 60 miles per hour. Some localized canyons like Fremont could hit 70 or so. But yet yeah, these areas, especially below the Cajon Pass, Ontario, uh, portions of inland Orange County, Beaumont area, we're talking about potential damaging winds and difficult driving conditions hazardous due to those strong windy conditions. The Santa Ana winds will bring very dry air as is typical, and here's the minimum relative humidity. You see 10 to 15 percent away from the immediate coast. That combination of wind and low relative humidity will create about two to five hours of critical fire weather conditions, although the recent heavy rainfall that we had will drastically mitigate the fire weather threat. So that's some good news. So some tips here and tricks for the week ahead. When we have Santa Ana wind conditions, it's a good idea to secure any unsecured outdoor objects and definitely be cautious on area roadways uh, winds can topple semi-trucks, these high-profile vehicles, especially along east-west freeways like I-10, 215, be, be really careful out there. And again, elevated to brief few hours of critical fire weather conditions will be possible. Thank you for listening to this weather briefing. Again, dry week expected with Santa Ana wind concerns. Uh, if you're looking for the next chance of rain, well, probably just before Thanksgiving, the chance. Uh, looking low at this time, but it looks like we could have the door opening for at least a chance of some precipitation uh, beginning around the 22nd or 23rd of November. Uh, but so stay, stay tuned for that. Right now we're in a dry weather scenario. Uh, stay up to date on our social media, Twitter at NWS San Diego, and on our webpage at weather.gov slash San Diego. Have a great week, everyone.